I've always found it really interesting how different tools have different attributes that make them uh, ideal for different situations. There's very rarely a perfect tool that does every job. You have to really consider you know, the job and then pick your tool. Uh, case in point, my two lawnmowers. Um, my first lawnmower here on my left is a Fisker Stay Sharp Max. It's a push powered lawnmower. And then on my right is uh, my Husqvarna gas powered mower. I started actually when we bought our house by getting the, uh, the Fiskers right here. Um, it's a really good mower for the money. It was a little over $200 and it works surprisingly well. Um, if you ever try with this kind of mower, it's called a real mower or a cylinder mower. It's got you know these uh, helical blades that spin vertically and you power it by pushing it. And most of these real mowers out there are really, really hard to push because you have all that friction of the blades coming together. What Fiskers did is they put a little gap between the blades. It's, it's very, very small, but it's just enough to where you can push it very easily and the blade can actually free will. So let's say you're, you're going to a spot that's hard to reach, you can you know, get a good amount of energy into the mower and it'll keep cutting after you stop pushing it forward. Um, other real mowers don't do that. Uh, it's not as wide as other mowers. It's only an 18 inch wide blade, whereas most of them are like two feet or wider. Um, but it's a lot taller than most real mowers. And that lets it handle taller grass too. And so this is actually a decent option for when you have a big lawn to mow. It takes me about an hour or so to do our front and backyard with this mower. Um, my other mower, I just got this past month from a relative he decided to upgrade to a self-propelled mower and just gave me this. Um, and so I've been trying them both for the past few weeks to see how they would do. And each one I think I'm gonna keep because they come in handy here at different times. Um, each one has its advantages. First of all, my Fiskers uh, is so quiet. And this morning I wanted to mow the lawn without waking up the kids or my wife. And so I was able to just get outside and push this thing back and forth I uh, didn't bother the neighbors, didn't do anything like that, just mowed and I was able to listen to music while I was doing that. I can't do that with a gas mower, it's just too loud. And I find it really rude if you operate one of these at an hour when a lot of people want to be asleep, like at 7 in the morning. This one, no one can hear. Um, also there's no gasoline involved, uh, I never have to worry about running out of gas in the middle of a mowing job because I'm the gas. It works great. I've been told that uh, a real mower is actually better for your grass because it doesn't tear the grass. It, it cuts it like scissors. Whereas a rotary mower like this has a spinning blade and if it's not perfectly sharp, you can just tear the grass and get uh, damage. Um, but there are other advantages to a gas powered mower. Um, it has more power um, and it doesn't depend on you pushing the thing to actually cut the grass. You know, you can if you have a really thick section, you can just go through nice and slow and the mower will just keep chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping. Um, if you have to reach under a hedge, like I sometimes have to, then you can just you know go in, go out, go in, go out. You don't have to give it a big shove to get it up to speed and then have to yank back on it over and over and over again, which can get really, really irritating with a real lawnmower. Um, it's also a lot better at handling overgrown grass. Um, I've had some grass growing really fast lately and it got too thick for my real mower. And so if I had just had that, I'd have to go beg my neighbor to borrow his lawnmower, which would be just too embarrassing. Um, this also has a really good bagging attachment. And you can get a bagger for the Fiskers, but it's not a very big bag and I haven't bothered to try it yet. There are some other things that these two mowers have in common. They're both adjustable height-wise. Um, on this one, there are, there's a lever on each wheel that you just raise or lower and that sets your height. On the Fiskers, there's one lever for the whole thing that lets you choose your height. So it's even faster to take care of. Um, but one thing that the Fiskers has that, that I've never seen on another lawnmower is how adjustable the handle is. Let me show you this. This can go up like this wherever and there are pins down here that you can adjust however you want and that will let you set the height of this bar to make it nice and comfortable for you. The wheels are actually inside 
the uh, area covered by the blade. On other mowers, the wheels are outside the area of the blade, so you have to make sure your wheels are always overlapping. This one, because the wheels are inside the blades, you can just go in your own tracks or just on the inside of them and get great coverage with all your mowing. I often get asked if, if a real mower is a good option for a homeowner. I've got a nice, relatively flat piece of land, and it's not too hard to do. It is very uh, easily messed up by bumps in your lawn, so whatever you can do to smooth out your lawn, the better it'll perform. Um, a, a rotary mower like this one handles that a lot better. A real mower is a lot safer than a gas mower. Uh, when I have to use my gas mower, I have to send my kids and my family inside the house, and I'm the only one out here. With a real mower, um, I'm letting my kids play on the deck or in the pool or on the swing set because it doesn't throw rocks. It isn't dangerous if you hit something hard, it just stops. With a gas mower, you know, if you hit something hard or dangerous, it's gonna create a projectile. And it's just not nearly as safe. So if you got little kids running around, um, a real mower is good. Also, it's nice and quiet, like I mentioned. So when my kids are napping, I can go out, mow the lawn, and do what I need to do without waking them up with a loud lawnmower. One final advantage is storage. Um, this mower, is shaped like this. To uh, store it, it has to stay like that all the time. If you lift it up too high, you'll spill gas out of the tank. That's a lot of space that it takes up. Whereas this mower, you've got two options. I just like to wheel it into a garage, fold this up, that's all the room it takes. Or, you just hang on the wall, like that. I'm happy with both my mowers. I'm gonna keep them going. That way, if one of them breaks, I always have a backup.